Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be setting up a TFTP server and we're going to do this in Fedora Linux, Fedora 39. So let's let's get started. First step is to install the TFTP server package. So we'll do a DNF install TFTP dash server enter and we will hit yet Y at the prompt and complete. Our next step is to copy the service TFTP service and socket files over to the Etsy system D system folder. Those files are currently located in the user lib system D system folder. So let's go there. See user lib system D system do an ls and we see our files over here so let's go ahead and do a copy and we'll start with the tftp service and those will go into the etsy system d system directory and we're going to name it we're going to rename these files to tftp serve dot service and hit enter and we're going to do the same with the socket file so we'll just edit our previous command and tftp serve dot socket enter all right, now we're going to CD to the Etsy system D system folder directory. And let's go ahead and just copy this path here and hit enter. Hit LS and we see our new files here. We're going to edit the service file. So let's do a VI and we'll VI the TFTP serve service file, hit enter. And we are going to, under the unit section, we are going to edit the requires entry. And we're going to change this to our updated file name. So this will be TFTP serve. So let's do a A for append, capital S, E, R, V. And we'll do an escape. And then we'll move down under the services section to the exec start and we'll add the flag C and the flag P. So let's do an insert, we'll do a dash C, a dash P, and we'll hit escape. And then under the install section, we will also edit this file name. So we'll hit A for append and we'll do a capital S E R V and we'll hit escape we'll do a colon right quit exclamation enter and we are done so our next step will be to reload the daemon or do a daemon reload so let's go ahead and do a system control Reload command complete, and we'll do a system control start for the TFTP server. TFTP serve enter. Now, let me do a uh, status on this to just make sure everything started properly. So let me system control status, TFTP serve, enter, and yes, we see it successfully running. So we're good. All right, our next step is to open the firewall so we can communicate outside of the server. So we'll do a firewall command, firewall dash CMD, and we'll do a add service equals TFTP 
enter. And it's already enabled for me. I've done this before, so we have a success anyway. You'll not see the red red warning, but you'll see the success once you run this command if it's not already set. All right, and then we'll do a firewall command reload. Reload, and let's see, success. So that reloaded all the firewall rules, updated the whatever's changed. And then the default directory for TFTP, TFTP is TFTP boot. We see it here, varlib TFTP boot. So let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and cd to varlib. All right, let's do an ls. An ls minus l. And we have tftp boot here. And we want to change this to read, write, execute for everything. So we will do a, we'll change this to 777. Boot, enter, and then we'll do a ls dash l again, and we'll see that it's read, write, execute for everything now. So let's go ahead and cd into that directory. Or that folder, whatever, and we'll do an ls. see a file in there. This will be our test file. Let's do a remove. And we'll force it so you don't get prompted for... All right. Prompt so you don't get prompted for anything. Okay. And it is gone. Let's do a clear. But ls will show this folder is empty. And on our Windows machine, we will we will run a TFTP client, any client, uh, Windows client download should, should work. I use TFTPD64, and that's actually the file we just deleted. It's a zip file called FTP Rush that executables inside inside that zip. So let's do a TFTP client and we'll enter our server's IP address 192.168.20 port 69 and we will copy this file over to our server do a put and we'll, we see the activity of the file being copied over, and we can do an ls, and there's our file. All right, our next step is to copy the other direction. So this will be our downloads folder. This will be the location where we're going to copy it. We'll delete the one that's in there now. And we will go ahead and change our or add our remote file entry and name it ftprush.zip. All the other information remains the same. And we'll click the get, get button. And we see activity taking place. So it's copying from the server to the Windows machine now. And we can go in here, and we see our our uh, file copied over. And everything looks good. So we have an operational TFTP server. Remember, it's not secure. It should only be used in the local environment. And in, in my case, I keep the service turned off if, if uh, I'm not using it. So just eliminate that vulnerability altogether. system so 
All right, I think we're good. Um, again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to be adding a lot more stuff and or a lot more videos. And uh, if my videos are helpful, like please, please like them. And I will see you next time. Thank you.